everybody. Today, Rado runs through Now Boarding, which is a very cool real-time cooperative game where players take on the role of partnership airlines trying to get their passengers where they need to go before time runs out. And I am not alone today. I am joined by my lovely wife, Jen. Hi, honey pie. Hello. Hello. We are going to do our best to keep these folks happy um, and wish us luck. Now, we're playing the two-player game today. Uh, this is the board for two or three players. If you're playing with four or five, we would have this board, which includes SeaTac, uh, my favorite airport in yeah. the world, if only because I love Seattle so much. But in a two-player game, there is no SeaTac. And in fact, in a two-player game, we pretty much completely ignore JFK. In a three-player game, there will be people wanting to go to JFK, but in a two-player game, we can pretty much ignore that altogether. Um, kind of a dead-end forest. <laughs> and I am the yellow airline um, based out of Atlanta. Jen is the purple airline, dressed very appropriately in a purple shirt, yep. uh, based in Dallas. And as part of setup, there is one random passenger waiting to be picked up here and one waiting to be picked up here. We don't know where they want to go yet, and we won't until the real-time portion starts. But there's a little bit more setup we have to do before we get to that. Each of us has our airline card. And by the way, in case it isn't obvious, this is all definitely placeholder prototype type stuff. You can go to the Kickstarter page, hit the button up at the top right corner of the screen, or follow the show notes. Um, but uh, it'll do. I am the yellow airline, which means I have access to these sunny routes. Jen cannot fly on them. But by the same token, Jen has access to the tropical purple Palm Springs type routes that I cannot fly on. As part of setup, each of us takes our airline, which by default has a capacity of one, one seat, can carry one passenger card, and has a speed of three. But we also get an upgrade of either a fourth speed or a second seat, depending on how we want to do that. We also get an upgrade in a two-player game only of a second line we can fly. And I've already chosen the red line, the mountain lines, so that I can fly on these. Jen can't. Jen chose the the uh, cactus lines, all these desert lines that I can't fly on. And, I don't know, do, do we both want to go for speed? Speed is always nice. Speed is nice, unless all of a sudden you need two people and then you want that extra seat. But we have upgrades. Over the course of the game, we can upgrade our airline. Here's a chart that says how much everything costs, and it gets progressively more and more expensive the faster you make your plane and the bigger um, you make your plane. Although, we can always get these temporary runs. There's only one of each for really cheap. If we just need a little boost of speed or an extra, we just need to stuff them in there tight, like <laughs> Southwest Airlines or something like that. Um, well, I probably shouldn't name names. All right. So, um, we've got the deck of passengers. First of all, we're going to have some random weather appear someplace, and then uh, three passengers we have to deal with in the morning. Then there's going to be more weather. For the first three rounds, these passengers come out. Then there's more weather. Then during the day, we have ten passengers who come out two at a time. Then we have weather that starts the evening, whereupon we have 27 passengers to go through. And we've got to get almost all of these people home. All right, and we've also got the weather. So let's go on ahead and see where the weather's going to be. Honey, good or bad? Good. All right, the good weather is going to be from Atlanta to Miami. All righty. So normally it takes one, two steps to go from Atlanta to Miami, but there's good weather, so now it only takes one step. And I'm hoping this person wants to go to Miami. All right, so that, that's where the good is. The bad weather is going to be... LAX to Dallas-Fort Worth, this line here, all right, which means instead of there only being one, two, three, four steps, now there's one, two, three, four, five steps between those two airports. I don't know if I mentioned it, e anybody can fly on these universal black spots, but uh, the other ones we can only fly if we've got the upgrades for it. Okay, so um, as part of setup, we get to know before the timer starts. I should say, normally we don't get to know where these people go um, until the timer starts, but the ones that we put out as part of setup, we do get to know. My guy wants to go to Dallas. Okay, um, that's handy. And Jen's guy, whoa, that's pretty handy. What? Um, yeah, Jen, uh, uh, yeah, my guy okay. in Atlanta wants to go to Dallas. So, um, so that's good for me <laughs> because I have this short little flight I can make. Yep. It's not good for Jen. She's got to go it's called one, two, three, four, five. Although because of the good weather, it's better than normal. Mm -hmm. But here's the interesting thing. We are partnered airlines and we are working together. I think, Honey Pie, based on the fact that both these people just want to go to the other place yeah. and I've got access to the quick route, it makes mm -hmm. sense for me to come one, two, three, 
deliver this person, yep. pick up this person, and start flying back, well, which means you have nothing going on. We know somebody's going to come up in San Francisco. Yes, so we do know that, um, that the next person, uh, the, the first person, which we won't know where they go, No, but, but we do know they want to go. So you're just going to fly out west? I'm just going to head that way. Through some rough weather there? No, I think I'll go through. Right, because one, two, three, four, five, six. So Jen's just going to start flying the long trip out to San Francisco to pick up whoever that is. And me, I'm just going to take care of both of them, which you, means I'm going to make all the money for all the upgrades. So okay, all right. so we've got our plan. Now, the next thing is, I mean, you can plan all you want. Um, before we start the timer, at the beginning of every round in the morning, we draw one passenger, which means it's going to be this SFO person. We don't know where this person wants to go until the timer starts. So, oh, and we know the next person is going to be Atlanta. I'm going to be very busy over here in the southeast oh, how corridor. Yeah, it's going to work great for me. Okay, so Jen's heading out there to pick this person up. She doesn't know where we go where they're gonna go, but there's one more choice we have to make. Whether this person is a VIP. This is an optional variant to make the game harder, where you draw four random VIP cards. There's, uh, I think, six or seven total. We don't know which ones they are. They could be celebrities, they could be minors, they could be plus-size passengers, <laughs> any number of issues that we might have to resolve. And to win the game, we have to have delivered all four VIPers before the time runs out. So. Um, before we start the timer, we have to choose, is the last person we've drawn and added to the table, is this person a VIP? I think so. All right, then. This person is... I got extra time and energy. Oversized. Okay. Requires one more seat. So, when Jen gets out here, Jen only has one seat because she chose speed instead of seats. Jen, wow, you're not going to have any money. I can't do it. You have no money. So that, I think, changes stuff up. I can't handle all this myself because nobody can pick this person up without an extra seat. So, while I was going to come over here, pick up, uh, I think you yeah, did, we both are going to head over there, yeah. and this person is just going to wait. Wow, that um, mixed things up. I'm we had a sure perfect plan. Because we have, it takes two days to get over here anyway, so if I go the other way, this guy is going to... Well, here's the deal. What's going to happen then, I think, is I'm going to take my person, come to Dallas, and then I will keep on going out to pick this person up. Okay. Because once I deliver this, I'll have two bucks, which will let me get the temporary seat so that I can pick this person up. Okay. Although, I will have to go through the rough weather. Yeah. Because I can't go through this purple. So, I mean, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Next turn, one, two, three, four. Next turn, I'll it's going to take me a while to get there because of the rough weather. That is a bad bit of luck. But hey, you know what? If it was easy, everybody would run an airline. <laughs> so I think we've got our plan. And what, you're just going to come around one, two, three, yeah. four, five? Because yep. otherwise it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So the weather's good for you, it's bad for me. Sure. No, okay. but there's nothing else we can do. I don't see any other no. way to take care of this. Yep. All right then. Um, so the game going to come with sand timers. I don't have them with this prototype, so I'm just using my phone. In a two player game, we get 15 seconds real time. The first thing that will happen once the timer starts is we will reveal any face down folks so we know where they're going, and then we will move. Each of us can move up to four spaces. I can move across the yellow and red. Jen can move across the purple or the orange, and we can both move across the black. We pick stuff up, we drop them off. And are you ready, Honey Pie? I am ready. Then here we go. Three. Two, one. I pick up my person, I go one, two, three, I drop off my person, four. and then I go four, because I gotta come back. No, you were coming over this way. Wait, no, but I gotta drop this person off. I gotta bring them. Oh, no, no, we're a four. Yeah, I go this way, because I drop them off, I keep going out west. Yeah. Right. I, <laughs> it was such a simple plan, and it already, because I, in my head, I still had the original plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so at the beginning of the game, there's not much going on, of course. There's only a few people out on the board. Turns are really simple. But towards the end of the game, when we're putting three new people out on the board every round, and people are getting more and more angry. Oh, did I mention these people get angry? This is a whole stack full of anger right here. <laughs> but at the end of a round, after the time is up, the first thing we do is anybody waiting in a terminal gets an anger cube. If they get four anger cubes on them, they beat feet, they file an official complaint. If we get three, and they're out of the game, if we get three complaints, we lose. Yep. So it's going to take me a while to get out to this guy because of these stormy weather. Um, but, oh, no, no, there's one thing I can do. I just made, wait, 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 oh yeah. Um, right, I, I took this person and I delivered them to Dallas, and you're supposed to tap them, or you can flip them upside down or something like that to indicate that, this, that I made this. So I've got two bucks to spend. I need at least five bucks to get my to buy a, a permanent second seat, or um, seven bucks to buy a fifth speed. But right now, I can pay this two bucks to get speed, so I can get there quicker. 
But the problem is I won't get any change. So I'll, I'll use the two to get one, and then I need all two of this to get the temporary seat to pick up this oversized passenger. Yep. So I'm not going to use this. I've got some cash because I delivered this person. Jen has yet to deliver hers. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So first of all, new people come out. The timer starts. We reveal who they are. After the timer is over, everybody who hasn't been picked up gets more and more angry. If we have money, we can spend upgrades, and then we move on to the next round. It is the next round, folks. Somebody is going to come out in Atlanta. We don't know where they want to go yet, um, although Jen's going to probably pick them up. So Jen is the lucky one. She was complaining about how I was going to do all this work, and now she's going to get all this money. <laughs> um, and once again, we can decide if this person is... We're actually, we're supposed to decide before we reveal anything. We're supposed to decide. We Now we know in this case, it's going to be a VIP in Atlanta. Do you want another VIP, or we already have one problem, or do you think you got it? I think we can each have all right. one VIP. So Jen has decided before we start revealing that this person waiting in Atlanta is a celebrity. Ooh. Now that's easy. Must fly alone. That's okay. You've only got one seat anyway. Where does she want to go? Um, we won't know until the timer starts. I want to know. You'll find out when the timer starts. Oh. Um, so this celebrity must fly alone. Early in the game, that's awesome. Late in the game, when we're carrying two or maybe three passengers at a time, having to carry a celebrity by themselves, that could destroy us. Yeah, so it's good if we got it. Yeah. Now, shouldn't we have been able to flip this? Um, yes, we should have, just nobody, no, 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 um, yeah, we should have, just yeah. nobody bothered. Okay. So, we'll do it, yeah, I mean, if, I mean, the first thing we should do when the timer starts is flip them, because it's easy <laughs> to forget, so I'm still flying out here totally blind, I don't even know where this person wants to go. Well. Alrighty, so, um, anyway, what am I going to do? I just move four. One, two, three, four. that's all I'm doing, so you still got Jen's one. going a one, yep. making some money, picking this person up, and then moving wherever they want to go. Yep, going wherever they want to go. Alrighty. Ah, if only this person wasn't oversized, that original plan was so much cooler. But anyway, ready, honey? Yep. Here we go. Let's find out where SFO is. Oh, wants she wants to go. to go to San Francisco. So one, two, three, four. I'm dropping them off, picking them up. And now I've got to go one, two, so that was one, two, three, four. That was All it. Right. All right, so, so easy, easy. I got two bucks. All right, so time's up. Um, and. Our plus size passenger who wants to go to Chicago, which is actually excellent because the quickest way from San Francisco oh, to Chicago yeah. is the mountain range, which I can do. That's you, baby. So it was good because if you had come out here to pick this guy up, you wouldn't have been able to fly. You would have had to come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can't, we can't go through JFK, remember? Yeah, we can. It, it's still a valid thing. It's just oh. nobody will ever want to go to JFK oh, okay. in a two player game. But it is still a valid way to go. It's a long way around. But yeah, that would have been murder. No, I think I would have dropped him off in Denver and you could have picked him up. And then, yeah, because a lot of times uh, players collude to do transfers. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now, so anyway, uh, Mr. Chicago, he's getting impatient. Two more and he will explode. But that's okay. I'm going to get there next round. In the meantime, though, uh, there's all right. Jen didn't actually take her celebrity. So <laughs> where does he want to go? He wants to go to San he Francisco. He also wants to go to San Francisco. So we all left our hearts in San Francisco. Yes, indeed. So, are you spending any of that money? Not yet, because I don't need. You're saving it up. You're not getting the. You can't take the temporary seat. Oh, but I am. I am spending my two bucks. I could have done this last round as well. I'm spending my money to get the temporary seat. Now I will hold on to this until I use it. Once I've used it to pick up two people, or in this case one oversized, it will come back here, which means it can be bought again as an upgrade later. All right. So that's it. We're on to the next round. In the next round, oh, hey, so there's a second person in San Francisco. Well, I'm going to be dropping somebody off, so I'll just plan on taking um, this person up. And do we want them to be VIP as well? Just try and get all our APAs done. Well, we might as well because, you know, we're in reason reasonable. Right, I'm already taking the steps and, to deal with this one. Yeah, and actually, as soon as you use the second seat to pick him up, it'll yeah. go back over there and I can buy it. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm so this it. SFO person is also going to be a VIP. Yeah. Okay. And they are nervous, oh. cannot fly through weather. Okay. So once you pick them up, oh, but they the cannot change. Um, the weather's about to change. We're about done. The the morning is a very fast, quick. You're through it very, very quickly. Um, but then well, the weather's going to change, and we're going to start drawing two at a time. So mm -hmm. things will start backing up pretty quickly. But that's it, Jen. I did buy an upgrade. My temporary seat, so I'm out of money. I need this to pick up the oversized passenger. We're ready to go, right? Easy peasy. Yeah. All right. So what am I doing? I'm going one, two. Picking him, um, picking him up three, four. I won't quite make Chicago, but he won't be angry anymore, and you're just starting to work your way out. Yep, I will land in San Francisco and stay. Right, okay. And, pick this and um, here we go. Oh, and also, we should, strictly speaking, know that the next person is going to be showing up in Chicago. That's pretty lucky. Wow. Okay, okay. Yeah. these are actually, there's supposed to be a stack of passengers and a stack of weather right next to it. I just put it in one stack. Um, but anyway, so are you ready, Honey Pie? I am ready. Here we go. 
Okay, so one, let's two. Go. Let's go Pick this person up. One, two, I use three, the seat. Four. I'm dropping three, off San four. Francisco. And I'm picking up Dallas Fort Worth. And then I'm going right. to just wait because You're I out of movement? have no more. All right, movement. so that's it. All right. The morning is over. I've got my plus size passenger on his way to the Windy City. Jen has her nervous passenger who cannot go through weather to get to Dallas Fort Worth, but that's yep. okay. She would go this way anyway. All of the weather's about to change. Yep, we'll There's one see. VIP we have not dealt with. We'll have to worry about that because we are now moving on to the second round. The weather changes. Pick good or bad, honey pie. This good. Is, this is good weather between Dallas Fort Worth and Denver. All right, so this line just got shorter, which means the bad weather is between LAX and San Francisco. Okay, so... Uh, right, so the bad weather. My nervous person doesn't like any kind of weather. Um, so that's a problem for you, because you, that means you can't fly here, you can't fly here. Yeah. You now have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> See, that's it, the VIPs, <laughs> this, this would have been simple, but now things have gotten a bit tougher. But it's weather, huh? It's weather. It's no weather. weather. Nervous people cannot fly through weather. That person will not get on the plane if that's the path you take. So, now, um, we are moving on to the second round. So, there's going to be somebody to pick up in Chicago and somebody else to pick up in SFO. Um, so, you don't have to pick up Mr. Nervous. No, I'm not. Um, but you did pick up Mr. Nervous. But you could, oh, you did pick up Mr. Nervous. Yeah. You cannot drop him now. If you had come here and waited, yeah. and then um, say, so, okay, let's just wait and see, you could pick up this person instead. Okay, but I can always take Nervous to Denver. And drop them off. To San Francisco, because I can, buy, I can buy the temporary seat right now. Oh, and pick up both of them? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And as long as somebody is on their All right, way, so, they don't get angry. Um, right, uh, there was nobody on board. We had picked up everybody who was on the table. You are going to have spent your $2 to get the... Well, yeah. Or you have six dollars. You have six dollars. You yeah. could actually get a, oh, a get permanent a seat. seat. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so Jen's going to spend all her money. She has six. She's going to spend five of it to get her second seat. Okay. And she has one dollar left over, which will be wasted. So you might as well buy the temporary yeah. speed. Might as well. So Jen's got a little boost of speed when she needs it. Um, and then we're setting up for the second round. Chicago, San Francisco. The weather has changed. Um, we won't know where these people want to go until the timer starts. And uh, we continue to have 15 seconds. I'm just going to go one, two, drop this person off, and probably start taking this person wherever they want to go. Okay. Now, um, one last thing. We should have decided before we started drawing these, did we want there to be a, a VIP? I have enough VIP. Yeah, I think we got enough VIP problems as it is. So we didn't do the VIP. <laughs> I mean, you could do it. It would have been Chicago who would have been the VIP, but we're leaving it. We'll worry about the last one later. Well, and um, I no, no, no. I mean, the thing is, we'd be cheating. Because we were supposed to choose this before we drew anything. Okay. You weren't supposed to do upgrades. Um, you had to do upgrades before we drew these. So we cheated by, hey, let's see what these are, and now let's do upgrades. Okay. That was also well, cheating. it's a little bit difficult when you're doing a render because you're talking about everything. Indeed. But so anyway, so the official results are um, everybody who's left in an airport gets angry. There was nobody because Jen picked up uh, this guy, I picked up this guy. Then we can buy stuff. Jen spent her six to get a second seat and some temporary. Now we move on to the next round. We decide before we start revealing things. Well, first of all, the weather changed because it was the beginning of the morning. And now we decide before we start playing from this deck if there was going to be a VIP. We said no. And then, hey, SFO and Chicago. And we know Miami is in our near future. Okay. okay. So. Um, I think, folks, we're going to take a break right there. Um, and if you'd like to watch things continue to evolve, and like I said, that first the morning is easy peasy. You can almost kind of sleepwalk through it. But things, we're going to start feeling a bit of pressure very, very soon. It's going to get kind of ugly, very scary, very quick. And if you'd like to stick around and watch a little bit of that, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen, go to the extended playthrough, or instead you can go straight to Final Thoughts. Your choice in five, four, three, two, one.